Welcome back to Raleigh, North Carolina. A beautiful night for football down here on Tobacco Road. 75 degrees, slight wind, and the forecast is for beautiful football. Marshall's Thundering Herd taking on NC State. Fourth all-time meeting. So we're about set for kickoff. Carter Finley on its feet here as the Herd and the Wolfpack set to go in Raleigh. The kick is short to the upper back receiver. And it's Marcel Williams who is immediately met there. Herd starts with a two back set. Man in motion, the handoff is up the middle. Good yardage for Anthony Anderson. Out past the first down sticks to the 29 yard line. I'm coming straight Spends a little time on the track and field team. Samuel's in motion. And that's Finley again. This time the herd had him figured out. And they are not afraid to go back to it. Look at this play. A little. Well, Marshall not fooled that time either. And the herd gets some penetration and a little bit of a loss of yardage. Artis Johnson came in, made mm -hmm. the stop. Loss of five. A little like muddle huddle. Odd formation. Third down, 13. For the Thundering Hurts starting at its own 15 yard line. Litton fakes the handoff, wants to go up top. He's looking for Brady. Brady, did he catch it? He got a foot down and they give him the catch out to the 48 yard line. Wow, this is a, ter a tremendous throw from Chase Litton and maybe even a better catch from Tyree Brady. On the outside, he's in man coverage against Jonathan Alston. And this ball is perfectly placed as he goes up and catches it and gets that one toe down inbound. He is in good company with Mario Williams and Manny Lawson. We knew that fierce defensive line would pose some problems they have. There's a quick out. Completion made. It's Brady again. And a first down thundering herd. Nice composure by Litton in the pocket there. Well, Doc Holliday is certainly happy to have Brady out there this week because uh, they, were, they were talking this week like they didn't know if he was going to be able to go. And, and clearly he's out there making a lot of plays. Their best wide receiver, who, as you mentioned, played for the Hurricanes at, at Miami. Prior to last week catching that touchdown, his last touchdown was in 2015 for the Hurricanes. First and 10, Marshall's first foray into NC State territory. Litton with a quick drop and a quick throw. Catch is made again by Tyree Brady. He hadn't taken a snap on defense in a game since high school. I think they're pretty happy with how he did. There's Juracek out in the flat. He's got room down to the 28-yard line for another Marshall football uh, first down. One touchdown, but other than that, played really, really well against the Gamecocks. Litton wants to move the pocket now on the rollout. Looking for Brady. He's got it. Foot down. Catch is made inside the five-yard line. Tyree Brady has been tremendous for the Thundering Herd thus far. This is the, the Brady show, the Brady Bunch. What a great wow. catch. And that's two catches now on this drive where he has showed unbelievable. Second goal from the one-yard line. Rodriguez behind Litton. Your check in motion. Fake. Roll out to Litton. Litton looks to the end zone. He finds his man. Out of bounds. Well, Marshall's going to get away with another hold. I, it looked like that's what, that's what the fans were wanting. And there's a man. The Marshall receiver on the uh, far sideline is still down. That's Willie Johnson, the wide receiver. Timeout for an injured player. Here's a look at it now, Dustin. See, it, his foot. After review, the ruling on the field is overturned of an incomplete pass. Touchdown, Marshall. Finley and Gillespie in the backfield. And there's a little jet sweep. Marshall had it figured out. Jalen Samuels nowhere to go. Chase Hancock on the stop for the Thundering Herd. Off you go. Off you go. 
Jalen Samuels is the do-it-all H-back, wide receiver, tight end, does it all uh, for this NC State offense. Lit, quick drop, Juracek makes the grab, picks up about six yards out to the 23-yard line. That'll be now 31 games in a row for Ryan Juracek with a reception. I believe that's the second longest in FBS. His father, the athletics director at Houston, and Ryan Juracek took out a little GoFundMe page to help all the people down there. That's awesome. Who were impacted by the hurricane. Second and four. There's the give inside. Keon Davis has some room. Davis turning it on into North Carolina State Territory. Davis in a foot race. Drag down at the 19-yard line. Wow, this is going to be a huge hole here. Look at that double team on the inside between your center and your left guard, Jordan Dowry. And then Davis is just off to the races. We talked about him last week against Miami. Had those two kickoff returns. He didn't play as much on offense because he was so winded from all the, the return yardage. But you can see the excellent speed here. And I think everyone on this NC State team and the fans here at Carter Finley are a little bit stunned. This one from 33 yards. Kick is up. And it is good. Kari Vedvik, perfect on the year. First and 10 for the Wolfpack from their 20-yard line. And that's the give. Nothing doing there. Hines met by the Marshall front four. No gain. Coaches always say, never leave your feet as a ball carrier. It's always dangerous to do. You know, the risk versus reward is just tough. He hurdles over one of his... This time it's a little toss outside. Hines tried to get something, but Marshall's defense, they're, they're stout out they're, there. They're swarming the football right now. Jaquan Uli, a highly sought after player who originally committed to Alabama. You see number two come in here and make the stop. Just look how many white jerseys are around Naheem Hines right there. Very impressive defense so far. Finley now on a little screen pass. Oh, tremendous play by the safety Malik Gant, who came up quickly to make sure Jalen Samuels didn't get out in the open because he is dangerous. Malik Gant getting the start today in the first half because C.J. Revis is out, suspended with the targeting call last week. That is a tremendous tackle in open field. The coaches were raving about Gant's ability as a safety. He says... He's got great range. That means he can cover a lot of a lot of space, a lot of ground in a quick period of time. Unbelievable tackle there. There's another little quick give. This time, oh, another great tackle by Hines. Shook free for a minute, but the herd was there. Another tackle by Malik Gant. Third and eleven for the thundering herd. Crowd getting into it here at Carter Finley Stadium. Looking to throw, had pressure, lofts it up there, has his man. Brady again down to the 33-yard line. Single coverage, and Brady exposed the secondary again. Brady's a big-time player. He's a little slow getting up there. You want to keep an eye on that. But what a what a tremendous throw by Litton, who takes a shot as he throws this. But what a tremendous catch. And you see the speed of, of Brady. Intentions here. Second and seven. Litton fakes to Davis. Over the middle. The aforementioned Marcel Williams on the grab. Down to the 30-yard line. Litton looks really poised tonight. Very comfortable. When you think about it, very difficult circumstances to go up against this front. Because you always know that on any given play, one of those big defensive linemen could be in the backfield. He has stayed very poised. Vek's got enough leg, and plenty of leg as Kari Vedvik knocks it through from 45 yards. There's the give. Hines still trying to find some room. Marshall's defensive front, as you mentioned, has done a nice job. Yeah. Keller, Harris, B, and Couch. There's the give to Hines again. Hines in a traffic jam and nowhere to go. Amari Cobb was there with some help. 
Frankie Hernandez also on the stop. Nowhere to go. A lot of thundering herd jerseys there. First and ten for the herd, leading it here, 13-10 in Raleigh, North Carolina. Litton wants to throw, has his receiver. He slips free. That's Brady. Brady going to the house. Touchdown, Thundering Herd. <laughs> Is this guy legit or what? Are you kidding me? you got to be sure of that tackle out on the perimeter. 75 yards. Tyree Brady, how about this? You come up, you're right. you gotta, you got to come outside in. you got all your defenders inside. Jonathan Alston, who is new to playing defense, you've got to make that tackle. If you miss it, there is no help behind you. And Tyree Brady, how about the speed? 75 yards to 31-yard average. How about this? And take a look at the play. Poise from Litton. It's just a comeback right at the sticks. I mean, how, many, how many receivers would you see, Dustin, that wouldn't have come back on that little curl and waited for the ball? He went back and got it. First and 10 from the 20-yard line for the pack. Finley, empty backfield. Quick drop over the middle. Looking for Samuels, but good coverage there. You just don't see that symmetry in that offense that we saw last week against South Carolina. It, well... The coverage doesn't allow for the tempo and rhythm. First down now for the Wolfpack as Finley wants to go to the air again. This time checks out to Samuels. Gets a great block, but Marshall's pursuit is there. Finley with the quick snap, then he gives it on the reverse. Samuels gets away from one, but not two. See, this is very good discipline from the Marshall defense. NC State's trying to confuse them. They've got the wide receivers shaking their, their hands and thinking that they're getting the pass. Watch it. See, Finley's going to fake it, and then, of course, he comes back with the reverse. But the patience and discipline to stay at home from Marshall is really terrific right there. The linebacker, Jaquan Yuli, turned him inside, and the rest of the help arrived. So that is a gain of a yard after all that. There's another trick play. The throwback to Finley. Finley's got Samuels. He's got some green. Dustin, you don't often see two trick plays in a row. Remember that movie Little Giants and they ran the annexation of Puerto yeah. Rico? <laughs> they had the trick play. This is, this is like the annexation of Puerto Rico. How about this? You hand it off, Gillespie, you toss it back. Myers flicks it back as a flea flicker, and nobody covers Sandals down the sidelines on the wheel route. It Finley, a quick little look out there, and that is swallowed up. Loss of three yards, second and 13 for the pack. There's the handoff. Nothing doing over there. Blake Keller and company arrive, and they lose a couple more yards. Marshall's defense. 23-yard oh. gain. Marshall's defense answers that time as they break through the offensive line. Harmon out wide. Lewis to the near side. There's a quick run, and Marshall's defense is there. There's Malik Gant again. There was some serious penetration from Ty Tyler, number 17, from Marshall. He was in the backfield. Now he's, he's a defensive end, but they also will put move him around to play some three technique on the inside. And, and right here, I think he's down as a three technique. Yep, see him with his four, uh, two hands on the ground. Penetration into the backfield and allows his other defenders. And they take it up in there. They do not get in. Marshall's defense holds. Keller was there. Frankie Fernandez. I think will be credited with the solo stop. The middle linebacker, the Mike Backer right here. Fernandez comes up and pow, right at the goal line. Pretty really, good. really important series here yeah. for, for Marshall, Huge. don't you think? Biggest of the game, no doubt. Keon Davis from his five-yard line. Davis gets a couple good blocks. Davis busts free. Davis looking for the end zone. Touchdown, but there's a flag. Wow. Litton surveying the defense. Throws to Juracek. Juracek busts out over the 27-yard line. 
defensive front. I might try to find number 85 if you could. Or number eight. They fake the run. They roll him out. Oh, nice pass by Litton going to his left. Keeping his composure because the blitz, or the rush rather, was coming. I love how they move the pocket. Watch how he kind of just flips it around. Gets outside. There's nobody there. I mean, it's just an easy pitch and catch for the first down. The penalties. NC State hasn't been penalized at all, and the six that Marshall have Second committed have been just costly. Maybe that's what Coach Holliday was saying. Well, yeah, I think so. Six to nothing, right? We're talking points. I mean, the last drive, that's a touchdown. He, he took a touchdown off the board because of the, the holding penalty. And clearly, they're the right calls. Oh, yeah, and State has, you know, they, they played a very clean game. Fakes the run. Now he rolls to the right side. Looks for Brady. Did he make the grab on the sideline? He does. He's been phenomenal tonight. This is a sail route combination where Litton has two options. He could find number nine, Marcel Williams, coming across short like he did the last time for the first down. But because the corner bites up, wow. he decides to try and fit it in the window to Brady, and he does a tremendous job. That is just a great throw. Juracek goes in motion. There's the quick out to Keon Davis, who has to shake a defender, and he did so nicely. And he is, Woo. wow. Who delivered the hit there? I'm not sure if it was on the offense. I think Davis got the better of that one. Number 24, Keon Davis. I think sometimes you can have both guys come in and deliver a blow. And, and right here, watch Davis, number 24. Pow. Yeah, I think Davis got the better of that one. That so now they got to deal with that potent NC State offense again. There's the carry inside. Good herd response there. Allen Cook in the slot. They give it to Gillespie again. He's met right at the line of scrimmage and held on. Again, I've been very impressed with the Marshall defensive line. Those front four have done a great job penetrating against the run. Here we go. Lewis in motion. Gillespie is the tailback. He tries to bust it up in there, but I don't know. It looks like it may be a little bit short from this angle. He's going to be stopped. And that's a big hold for Marshall if that is the way they see it. I believe they did stop it. You know, look at the penetration. It's 17 Ty Tyler, Tyler back there in Blake, Blake Keller. Keller. Yeah, yeah. 40. You know, they're very content to run the football. I bet they don't run it here. A quick delivery, quick slant, and guess who? Tyree Brady, who, by the way, has set a new Carter Finley Stadium record for most yards by an opposing team as a wide receiver. That was 217 prior to that catch. And he's been the go-to guy all night long for Chase Litton. I would just keep looking for number eight. I don't care who he's matched up against on the outside. There's the give to Hines. And the going is tough again. The inside defense. Has been stout. Chase Hancock on the stop. Brought Former walk-on. This time they throw it out on the perimeter and nothing doing there either. How about that? Look at the stop out there on Marshall's defense by number 21, Artis Johnson, the linebacker. Mm -hmm. You just pin your ears back. There's a quick pass to Willie Johnson, who's got some speed, and he got outside. That was a nice move. Got 18 yards on that. That's actually Brady. I'm sorry. Brady he continues to impress. He's just stacking up the numbers here, racking them up on the outside. Way too much cushion. And Brady is going to say, that's fine. I'll take that all day. He understands the leverage. Gets McLeod inside. Breaks back outside. Terrific move. And then you see the speed. Well, you're right about your senior from Marietta, Georgia. And there's the connection from Luton to Johnson, first down. That interference call on third yeah. down. Secondary backs off just a little bit. Litton wants to throw. Inside screen to Rodriguez. Fumbles it. And that might be North Carolina State football trying to make a move here. You but do. He gets stripped. I, I thought he was going to make, make the defender here. Jared Fernandez missed, but Fernandez comes in there. He misses the tackle, but he ends up getting a paw on the football and knocks it out. And then a host of Wolfpack defenders dive in there, and they come up with the recovery. So Marshall goes backwards with the penalty. All right, tackle a couple more on. 
Hurd going to keep it on the ground. Keon Davis has some space over the right side down inside the 40. And they boisterous NC State crowd getting loud. Litton delivers a strike. Marcel Williams pulled down, and that'll be a horse collar, I believe. Well, they come in as a, what, 25-point underdog, and they've really fought the good fight. No question. And like you said, you wanted NC State to finish. You know, mm -hmm. Bill Legg and his offense nice. on third down and goal from the nine. They roll the pocket again. Litton finds Brady, and he's got six red jerseys to cover him up at the three-yard line. Well, Tyree Brady, if you haven't heard his name, you probably will after tonight. Amazing performance by him throughout this game. I mean, he, he's been instant offense for the Marshall Thundering Herd. Chase Litton has targeted him tonight 16 times. He has 11 catches for 248 yards. That is his lone touchdown of 75 yards. What more can you say about the transfer from the, the University of Miami? Dustin, they knew he was going to be good. They didn't know he'd be this good this quickly. I mean, we're two games into the season here, right? And yeah. he has certainly made an impact. Look at that. 40 yards off the school record held by Randy Moss. And he has been electric. He gives them a, a threat they didn't have a year yeah. ago. Right. Think about this. I mean, it, it, the Keon Davis touchdown return that was called back, had that stood, you're looking at a 30-27 game, you know, late in the third quarter. So never know what could have happened. Some big-time penalties have hurt, Mar hurt Marshall in this, in this ball game. Uh, and NC State was able to come up with two huge turnovers late to really finish it off defensively. Well, you coach off of that, too. You know that, Dustin, mm -hmm. as well as anybody. They're going to go back and look at this. But, you know, for NC State to come in after that disappointing loss and, you know, get knocked around a couple of times and then get back up and say, okay, look at yep. these numbers. They're almost identical. Litton had the one pick there or they would have, you know,